Hola, witches, magical people, and mundane allies. So hi. I I totally forgot today was the fourth, and so I'm sure some people are out doing their thing, having what they think is fun and party and doing all that stuff. Um, but I am here doing the card of the day because that's more important to me right now. And I'm going to ramble a bit. And I do have crazy hair because when you have naturally, want to see this, watch. This is like this natural state of my hair. It's curly and crazy. And I feel like Halle Berry in that one movie. Anyways, um, crazy hair, but that's fine. That's its natural, the natural course of things. And so I didn't feel like messing with it today. Oh, let's think. Hey, Randy. Hey, Kavana. Hey, Dana. Uh, so, yeah, we have crazy hair today, and that's okay because, you know, curly hair is crazy hair. It's fun. Uh, but you know the weird thing about uh, crazy hair or curly hair is you always feel like you're going bald because it's so curly, like, you know, that hair that, um, you know, we shed hair every day. But it gets trapped in the curls, so depending on how long you wear your curls for, once you, like, comb it out or wash it, you feel like you're losing so much more hair than you actually are. Hey, Shirley. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Michael. Love the name. Uh, hey, Justine. And we are actually working with the Fairy Forest Oracle today. Uh, so far, it's a, it's almost a tie between the Halloween Oracle and the Fairy Forest. And today, uh, the Oracle deck that took over was Fairy Forest. So that is what we are working with today. So basically, what we do is we'll shuffle the cards, focus on a message for for all of us to benefit from, and the way that you fine-tune it for your current situation is when you hear the card, when you see the card, you pay attention to your initial uh, responses, the colors that stand out to you, the imagery that stands out to you, the words that stand out to you, and all of that <clears throat> will help you personalize the message for you. Hey, Sadie. So that's how you kind of customize that. Uh, or if you want to book a reading with me, you can always do that. But uh, otherwise, we will work with the general cards and have fun with them. And I do uh, appreciate your participation because it makes it even more fun. So hopefully everyone's having a blessed day so far. Hopefully, hey, Janet, hey, Barbara. Uh, hopefully, you know, you're doing something fun for yourself. Hey, Lene. And if not, make something fun today. You know, take some time for yourself to do something uh, to honor your blessings. Mary, meet Lelani. And if you haven't already, Take some time to ground and center. Place your hand on your heart area, your chest area. Focus on your breathing. Focus on your thoughts. And then smile. And smile big. And then take that Cheshire cat smile and place it inside of you. And allow that smile to go everywhere, everywhere in your space. Um, and let it inspire you, let it promote, you know, good connection, good vibes, uh, all that great shit. Hey, Vincent. Hey, is it Sh Blessed Be Cherie or Sherry? And I'm like, good morning, Helen. I don't know how I feel because, you know, part of me wants to be like, oh, happy fourth, you know, because I know it means something to some people. And then a part of me is like, I don't know how I feel about that because of everything else that's attached to it as well. So it's like, I don't know what to say, you know? Uh, uh, you do, Karen. Okay. 
awesome. It really is. We're working with the Fairy Forest Oracle. I'm just rambling as I shuffle and focus on a message. Um, Cherie. Uh, but yeah. It's an awesome deck. Ooh, your eyebrows are on point. That is a great day. When you can have them eyebrows on point, shoot, you're good. <laughs> it's uh, it's Friday for you. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Awesome. Yes. Okay, we're almost done. Hey, Joyce. Hey. When you have eyebrows on point, that is no small, that is no small, you know, thing. When you get them eyebrows the perfect way, that is a challenge. So, bless that. Absolutely. Okay, a couple more shuffles and then we're ready to go. And this is where you get to help me in a second. You can help me pick what stack that we choose our daily message from. Okay, and if you think that this is going to be of service to anyone, if you think anyone can benefit from the card of the day, tag them, share this, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, but yeah, the more we get, the, the more fun we have, because in the more different perspectives we have, we can share with each other, so that's even better. Oh, hey, Australia, where there's amazing, intense, and crazy creatures. Oh. I love my Aussies, I do, but your birds terrify me. And it's not just your birds, your spiders, your everything. Okay, so this is where y'all can participate as well. What stack should we choose from? Stack one, stack two, stack three. So go ahead and comment and let me know what stack to Y'all, I can't talk. What stack do we need to choose from today? Stack one, two, or three, and we'll uh, pay attention to that, and the most popular vote will be the deciding factor, or at least what I see as the most popular vote. But go ahead and comment. One, two, or three. We've got a two. I just acquired the goddess deck and energy, and my home has been increased tenfold, a positive, happy sort of energy. Yes, awesome. So we have three, we have three twos, we got two threes. This is where it gets hard to pay attention to. We got another three, so I think, okay, three. Hey, Cheryl. Enchantment three. All right. Okay, so, and then we have uh, another Michael, War one. Choice three, three. Okay, well, you know what? All right. Oh, I got another one in. Okay. Two. Hey, Diana. Another one. Three still in the lead, y'all. Three is still in the lead. Uh, well, hey, Ariana. We're going to do stack three. So interesting that's okay that's interesting oh that's sad okay so three from what i saw have the most popular vote today hey nanamo um so we're working with stack three and before i share the card with you i'm going to read it to you and as i read it to you i want you to uh Pay attention to your initial response to the words. And if you want, hey, Kaylee, uh, if you want to participate, comment the first thing that pops into your head, the first memory, the first whatever that comes into your experience, the first thing, pop that in the comments. Or if you don't want to share, that's fine, absolutely fine, uh, write it down. Write it down so you can have that for later. So our card of the day is the Yule Singer the Yule Singer, Rebirth, Feasting, and Joy. So when you think of the Yule Singer, think of Yule, you know, winter solstice, um, 
and you know we associate Yule with winter solstice energy as well as around that time you know Christmas essence you know Christmas energy so what does that mean to you what's the first thing that pops into your head a uh, singer you know someone who sings obviously someone who has uh, well usually someone who has some sort of skill or talent in being able to uh, sing uh, so the Yule singer what does that mean and rebirth Feasting and joy. What does that mean for you? Uh, party time, yes. Happiness and joy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So pay attention, you know, take some time to allow that to sort of enter your experience. My favorite season is where everything is clean. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, the Yule Singer. Celebration, yeah. Rebirth, feasting, and joy. Family bonds, celebrating. So before we look at the card, we can kind of come to, you know, in agreement that the Yule Singer uh, has a sort of happy-go-lucky energy to it. It's feasting, it's joy, uh, family, it's rebirth. Rebirth is interesting. We add it to joy and feasting and all that. It's like that recycling of energy. So during Yule, we have this opportunity, this energy to, to uh, create and set the tone for the next phase in our lives. So that's something to consider right now because uh, this energy is being promoted right now and a perfect day for it too, I suppose. Um, so, oh, awesome, I forgot about that. Uh, but yeah, so the Yule Singer is all about setting the tone for the next phase in our experience, our life experience. So we want to celebrate, we want to joy, we want to bring happiness and good vibes. And so, snow, quiet, blue light, ooh, I like that. Uh, so we consider that and we realize right now we're being given the opportunity to shift our experience. And then we ask ourselves as we are rebirthed, what do we want to, what do we want to come back as you know what do we want the next phase in our experience to be more challenge obviously we don't want more challenge or hardships um you know abundance luxury uh you know liberation freedom so what do we want so that's something to consider uh hey natalie uh Commitment celebration to a path. Oh, I like that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the card. So when you see the card, what's the first thing that pops into your head? And apply that to when you heard the words. So when you see the card, pay attention to the colors, pay attention to the imagery. What first pops into your head? So this is the Yule Singer. I'll try and focus that. The Yule Singer. She's very festive. Those lips, though, look at those. Those are full, luscious lips. The Yule Singer, Rebirth, Feasting, and Joy. Delicious. Ooh, there's a little bird. Let me see if I can, you can see my curls, my crazy curls in the, sorry that I'm shaky. I can't hold it straight. Ooh, she got a little bit of crimp hair i think oh girl she is ready to party fertility mm, i like that yes absolutely so what do you see in the yule singer you know what's she's very pretty um the coloring is pretty you know the way it's painted is pretty her eyes are sad. This is something to consider. Very well, if you see sadness, that's very, it's definitely something. But also rem remember, sorry, it's not, I wish I could make it like, also remember we're talking about the Fae here, the fairy. And so the fairy realm, from my experience, their eyes and, and the way they express themselves, they do tend to look a little more stern, even when they have, you know, our judgment of stern or our judgment of sadness might be something different to them. You know, and uh, yes, Liz, that's awesome. Introspective, you know, the way her eyes are positioned, you know, she might be tuning within as well. She looks kind of high. Um, the way her eyes are right in, I guess I don't think it can 
it relays well on camera. But the way her eye position is and the way they are, they look in person, it's almost like um, she's high off maybe that sugar, you know, or something else, intoxicated. But it could be an intoxication type of energy where she's just, like, very relaxed and her eyes are, are you know, very, very calm and just tuning within and, like, paying attention. Maybe she is being seductive. We're trying to be seductive, and maybe it's working. Maybe it's not working for sure. So, but if you see sadness, that is something that you have to pay attention to because that's going to be, you know, something to co-create with everything else for a personal message for you. So, elf, yes. Okay. So, if y'all are new, then because this is an oracle deck... Oh, I love that Harpa. Yes, she is sweet, but life is not. Um, because this is, an, this is an Oracle deck, I like to honor the creator of the Oracle by reading uh, a little bit from the book. Because with Oracle cards, you know, the creator has a specific message, and then we can continue to expand upon it, okay? So here is the Yule Singer. Rebirth, Feasting, and Joy. There are times in life when our light dims so that it seems it may go out for all eternity. But when this time comes, you're being put to the great test. If you persevere at this time, you will experience a depth of life exper experience that will lead you to being reshaped, transformed, and in many ways changed. You are undergoing such an experience at present, and this card is here to share with you that at such a time of great darkness and suffering, a new light will shine and bring you back to life. Evanescence, anyone. Uh, a kind of reincarnation within the same life you are now experiencing. When this takes place, the Yule Singer will come to you and sing to you the song of your deepest self. You will open up with this song and, to begin, and begin to live again. The pain will dissolve slowly and surely you will enter into a time of joy and light. While the flame of your spirit rises high once again within your soul, expect new friendships, easy connections, fortunate moments, and growth when this beautiful card comes to you. The dark times are done with for now. You are stronger, brighter, and beginning once again a bright new cycle. Sing your song. Sorry, I can't hold that card up anymore. I'm like, oh, shaking. I have like an Oprah moment right there. Oh. <laughs> uh, looking within, exactly on point. Cool cards. Yes, absolutely. So you can take into consideration what the creator of the card expressed, and it really does align with everything that we sort of picked apart before. The card of the day is the Yule Singer, Rebirth, Feast, and Enjoy. And it's a confirmation card for some of us where, you know, all of these hardships that we're going through, all these experiences, sometimes we're sad, sometimes we're, you know, whatever it is, there is a shift, a turning point, and that's happening right now. We are being given the opportunity to create something new for ourselves. And by doing this, by honoring the, the experience that we once had, but realizing we have the, the opportunity to listen to the new song that's being sung and placed into our life, as we focus on that new song, that new energy, the, the positive, or not even just positive, but the good vibe essence that we want to carry with us that is entering the opportunities that are being presented to us once we start you know focusing more and more and more this is my little you know more and more and more um once we once we start focusing more on all of these new sunshiny uh opportunities we start to shift our life experience. And so it's like we shift from this who we were and we focus on all the good things that are happening to us and we try to create something new. And as we focus on that and we take it little by little and we start implementing it, and I don't know why I keep doing this because it's a cycle, you guys. Um, but as we implement it and take action with it, we, in a sense, detoxify our entire experience. So as we bring in all this good stuff for us, all these new experiences, these new opportunities, and all these other things, we sort of push out and release, detoxify, all the things that were stagnant and all the things that are no longer working for us. 
Do you see what I'm saying? So that's kind of what the Yule Singer is expressing to us today, that keep focusing on, you know, the, the better choices for yourself. Keep focusing on the better emotions and the better feelings and the, and the things that are going to take you to that space where you enjoy being. Um, and so as you do that, again, it sets the intention for the rest of your, your experience, the, the cycle that you are um, producing right now. There is a shift in... Uh, not to sound new agey, but there, I don't care, there's a shift in vibration, there's a shift in pattern and program where now is a perfect and ideal time to jump onto that, that big ass wave and ride it out. It is gonna be a great summer or wherever you are, uh, definitely. So, okay, so yes, the Yule Singer, the card of the day, just reminds us that instead of focusing on what plagues us or instead of focusing on what really brings us down, you know, uh, we can honor those experiences and honor those at that moment in that time, but also allow for light, light being information, light being wisdom, okay? So allow for that light more information, more wisdom to enter and know that it's there. And so we might not be ready to receive it in full, and that's okay. Whatever our experience is, that's fine. Uh, so be aware that you are able to take this. And so in whatever increment that you can, take it little by little. Allow for new energy to come in. Allow it to bless you. Allow it to inspire you for however long you need or you can take and then move through, okay? And I, I say this because some might think, oh, I can't do all of that, or, you know, I'm scared to do that, or, you know, I don't want to let go of my pain right now in full because I just don't. You know, there are reasons, um, and I'm not ready to have this amazing positive experience. That's okay. You know, I'm not going to tell you to change. But... Know that it's there. Know that information, that light, that energy, that shift in cycle. Know that it's there for you. And do what you can every day to just take a little bit from it. And eventually, you that light, that information will enter. And again, I don't like the terms, but we understand the terms, so that's why we're going to use them. So that light, that information will come into those darker places, that abyss, that, that you know, place in you that needs that information. And as that light activates darkness, because they need to be together, um, as that light activates the darkness, you have more information on that aspect of yourself, that experience, that situation, whatever it is, but you have more understanding of it. And then, because you do, you're able to move through, work through, release it, or just keep moving forward every day. Do what you can to bring a little more information, whether that be doing positive affirmations for yourself, uh, setting your intentions like we talked about before, uh, but doing what you can every single day to create a better life experience for yourself, okay? And that's what this card is about. The Yule Singer is about reminding you that there is a shift taking place, and that is uh, being an opportunity for you to create the change you want and just take small action steps every day to implement that, to, to see it through. And remember to have fun, remember to remain in amusement, remember to celebrate and, and be joyous. And it's okay to laugh. It's okay to laugh even when you're going through hard times. It is okay to cry, it is okay to smile, it is okay to be happy. You know, um, all of these things are okay, and it's very important for you to realize this. It's very important uh, to understand that even when you're mourning, even when you're grieving, even when you're going through hard times, there will be things that come across your path and make you feel good. And it's okay to feel good, even when you're processing something that's not good or you don't feel good about. So realize that. And allow that to happen for yourself. And don't feel guilty for laughing. Don't feel guilty for having a good experience. Don't feel guilty about any of that because that's just a process of life. That's your, your shift in cycle, 
okay? Uh, so that is our card of the day. Sorry that I rambled for so long. Um, but thank you again, you guys. You guys participated. You helped with creating this message. I appreciate it. Uh, but that's the card of the day, and hopefully you can take it and use it uh, and be inspired by it. And if you want to personalize it, take into consideration what I said earlier, as well as you can draw your cards to enhance this. Um, or if you want to book a reading with me, you can always message the page, message me, and we can set up a time to do a reading for you, which leads into my little advertisement. So if you want to go, that's fine. But I'm going to uh, advertise a few things. I have, I have a PDF and a video training for sale right now. And it's on sale just for, uh, you know, not that much. And uh, it's like a dollar eleven right now, I believe, in honor of this week. So dollar eleven, you get a video as well as a PDF booklet, and it's called The Spell of Hearth and Home. So it's a spell, and I give you an oil blend, I give you an herbal blend, I give you the spell in the PDF, which is really pretty, and then I do a video on it. I have a video of me explaining the spell, explaining everything, how to charge, what to do. Uh, so if that's something you're interested in, you can message me as well. I do have a tarot training starting about next week. Okay, so we'll uh, talk to Tarot, you know, next starting next week, we're going to be training on how to read the cards, you know, every single card, we'll go through every single card of the deck, uh, major, minor, four suits, what that means, uh, Tarot magic, all of that. If you want to train with me, message me, let me know. Um, yeah, and I'm still working on my book, so the book... Uh, I'm really hoping that the book can be released, uh, hopefully by Christmas, Yule time. Uh, but if not, it's fine. That's my, that's my desire. So again, you guys, I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, and I will be back tomorrow with another card of the day. So until tomorrow, you guys be blessed, have fun, and enjoy. Peace.